In our research, we use human embryonic stem cells, the only stem cell type that makes every cell in the body. It's the earliest of all stem cells. It's, it's really the first stem cell. Adult stem cells are another stem cell type, but unfortunately not as robust, not as potent as an embryonic stem cell. An embryonic stem cell makes every cell in the body, but an adult stem cell only makes a restricted amount of tissue. So stem cells from the blood make blood only. Stem cells from the brain make brain only. That's not to say they're not useful. They're very useful cell types. But an embryonic stem cell makes any cell in the body, and they also make more cells. So we can generate bulk product better, more of it, with an embryonic stem cell than an adult cell type. The potential of stem cells treatments are unlimited. These cells make every cell in your body. It's the most powerful medical tool that has ever been developed, simply put. It's the only tool that has the potential to treat every single human disorder. We're made from stem cells. That's simply the truth. The reality is some disorders we will be able to treat sooner than others because we understand them. In spinal cord injury, we know precisely what is missing. We know what to make. We know what to measure. And we can get at it. So physically uh, approachable disorder. That is one of the first clinical trials in the world. Other disorders like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, it's more difficult to design the cells. And the cells have a harder job. They've got to incorporate into a very complex brain. What we're asking the cell to do is a lot harder. It's a higher bar. Some things are going to be approachable in the near term, some things in the long term, but we're getting there. I really don't feel that there's any dichotomy at all with the use of human embryonic stem cell tissue. First and foremost, this is tissue that was destined to be destroyed. We are actually using tissue that would have otherwise been washed down the drain. I really don't see uh, why, personally, one could be against using a beautiful union of sperm and egg a living thing in order to create treatments for humans. If one feels that there's a holiness, a hand of God even, within a stem cell, why would you destroy it or destine it to spend eternity in a freezer? I think it's far better to take that thing and try to alleviate human suffering. I do think it's important that the expectations of laypersons of the community are aligned with the expectations of scientists and medical doctors. I think right now there's a great deal of misalignment uh, due to overhype of the stem cell field. We're learning. This is a new field. We've had some early successes, you know, evidenced by our own work being approved by the FDA recently. But this technology has only been in existence for 10 years. That's young. It's been a very, very fast road. We're bound to make some mistakes as a community, um, and we're bound to get it wrong sometimes. I think it's very, very important that the media, that scientists and medical doctors, and that the public maintain a constant dialogue so those expectations are real.